established the South Asian Symphony Foundation exactly three years ago in 2018. It was a vision and a dream and an aspiration of mine to set up such an institution in order to bring the people, especially the musicians of South Asia, together through the medium of music. Why I wanted to start a symphony orchestra was because symphony orchestras have something very special about them, apart from the fact that you know, the sound of a symphony is so grand and majestic and impressive. It's because it teaches people to work together, to learn to listen to each other, to sit side by side and cooperate. And through that, they create a wonderful harmony so just through this habit of listening, of understanding, of working together, I felt that this idea of South Asia that is more integrated, that is more connected, can be achieved. We started from scratch. We did not even have a database of any musicians. So slowly, Slowly, we had to literally burrow into the ground to get information, to look around for who are the musicians in our region who play violin, viola, cello, percussion instruments, horns, trumpets, clarinets. We had to really look. It was a kind of a treasure hunt, as it were. For me, it was particularly encouraging to see the response we got from a country like Afghanistan. Because as you know, Afghanistan has been going through great trials and tribulations. And just to be able to connect with young boys and girls, young musicians, who had, despite all the tumult and confusion around them, continued to pursue their passion for music was so, so enlightening and so encouraging for me personally. The heart of this inspiration is Indian, but the soul is South Asian. There are wonderful talents. There is a wonderful capacity inherent within the diaspora that we use, that we harnessed to build our orchestra. My name is Sadi Zain. I'm a professional musician in New York City of South Asian origin. From the start, I just love the idea of the South Asian Symphony Orchestra. I find the Symphony Orchestra to be a fantastic model for people really working together. Because when they don't, you can hear the difference. It just doesn't sound good. So people naturally all work together to make the harmonies and the orchestrations work and every person really has to do their part and every part is important. We managed to connect across cultures, musical styles and traditions to achieve a beautiful musical vision that culminated in an emotional concert at the end of the week. It was and is still clear that because of a shared identity, all the musicians connected in a way that would have been very difficult elsewhere. I left Bangalore thinking how diverse we all are, but at the same time, when one peels away the exterior, what we find at the core is how similar our shared humanity actually is. I think this is an opportunity for South Asia to really lead the world um, in this issue we have of populism and nationalism where so many in so many countries and so many parts of the world people are focusing on their differences whether they be religious or ethnic or racial 
And if we can step up and show the world that, hey, in South Asia, even though there's all these differences in these countries who have these conflicts, if we can come together and make music, we can and work together, we can show people that, hey, this is something that's possible. And as human beings, we all have a lot more similarities than differences. And if we work together and live together and cohabitate and respect each other, we can really make the world a better place. To my mind, uh, South Asia is an integer. It is meant to be integrated, and today it's one of the least integrated regions in the world. So there's every reason for us to at least use uh, the medium of culture, the medium of music, which is, as you know, a universal language, to bring uh, the young people of this region together. Because I believe we have to create hope in the future for all of them. and promote the realization that politics alone uh, cannot and should not determine our future.